it's winter time and we're back in kingdoms and castles basically how this series goes is if you guys want to see more well you should know what to do by now pull the trigger and like button slap it with a raw fish i wouldn't recommend it but you could do that theoretically speaking of course it'd be more of a figurative thing anyway in the last video we were building fortresses and one of the things was suggested to do was to build a wall around our kingdom. But essentially, in this series, we've got two rival kingdoms, and apparently there's been an update to it. I'm not entirely sure if these guys get it, but essentially, there's a lot more going on, including fires. Oh, we got a fire here. 25 people might burn to death, my lord. Well, you know what? We may need to build a fire brigade as well. But long story short, we gotta build up the kingdom, We've got two rival empires. One, this one, we're trying to piss off so that they'll actually create an invasion. Sun Tzu said in the art of getting people to not like you, the more someone doesn't like you, the more potential they have to invade you and burn your houses down. Oh my god. Is this an inside job or is it spies? I don't entirely know, but I do know we have a ton of stone. Now, the trick here is, if we were to fortify this island, where would we start? I've actually never walled off an entire island, I don't think. It would require a Herculean effort, I think. Very, very expensive. We do have 47 idle people, though. How is our food doing, actually? We, we may want to increase the food production before we start going on this massive building spree. We just started getting pigs. How is the food looking? The plague virulence is low and life expectancy is high. Do we have a big hospital somewhere? Do we not have a big hospital? <laughs> We's gonna need one of them. All right, I think I'm gonna have to chop down all these trees. And you know what else we're gonna have to do is actually put a lot of piers so that I can spread the wall around the existing buildings in certain places. And there you go. The number of idle people is down to one right now. We've got to keep, I think, the building projects sort of small at first. And at some point, we got to talk to the witch. Because, like, I have to build a wall around her? Or we could I just isolate her in the dark forest? We could just create a little corner and have the Vikings invade there. And maybe the witch would attack them. Speaking of the Vikings, we've got another attack in one year. We've been able to defend, for the most part, these Viking invasions. We've been doing a decent job. And oh, by the way, we've got this. A diplomat. Oh my god, they can get in the water. Guys, get out, get out of the water. Where's my boat? Weren't we building a diplomat boat? Where's my boat? We weren't... We gotta build it. We gotta build a diplomat boat. A transport boat. Now, should we build it in the middle of a, a Viking invasion? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Okay, it looks like the entirety of the Viking fleet is coming from, like, the southeastern corner of the map so if they continue coming this way well good news is good news we got a fortress hopefully directly in their path if i put a ballista here could it that would sort of command most of the straight if we build an even taller tower next to it yeah look at that so there they would be sneaking by i think we could try to build a super super tall one which I think would be really, really cool. That'll be Dragon Killing Tower. Oh god. Oh, hold on. Hold the phones. We actually have another invasion from the north. They didn't all come from one spot. They came from two different spots. Are these two different Viking clans? I've said it in many videos in the past, and I will say it again. Right now, diplomacy is sort of like the new thing, right? Dealing with AI empires. But wouldn't it be cool if you could sort of negotiate befriend or maybe you know continue a rivalry or an i wanted to say a word that's not a word enemy ship <laughs> i think a rivalry makes sense oh my god three viking armies and this guy's range is okay but not fantastic however this guy's range isn't that great either it's just this tower see this is why we have to wall this off so i've cleared out the trees to make the northern wall that way them vikings can't invade from there no more now, the next time they're gonna meet arrows isn't until they get to the keep, where we should be able to just smite them immediately. Yeah, see, we, we, we've gotta defend this. But for the most part, we did a good job. But if we could have no Viking- Oh, see, they- They freaking set fire to the houses. See, and now we've got trauma. We's got trauma. Oh, God, what ha- Oh, my! Hey! We just lost so many houses! So we've gotta rebuild all of them, and that should be the focus. 
is rebuilding those houses. Huh. Well, here I am like, oh, we got these Viking invasions handled and then half of a neighborhood burnt down. How rude. Yeah, like all the people that are working are like, man, after I go to work and slave all day, carrying giant bricks up multiple stories to build this dragon killing tower, I, I go home and I don't, well, I can't. I don't have a home to go to. This is what we gotta do. We gotta keep the people happy or they will rise up and smite me down with all of their might. Yeah, now we're starting to get people happy again. Yeah, homelessness is pretty big too, you know? Pe people don't like to be homeless. I feel like China right now building the Great Wall. Who planted that tree? It's what? Get that tree out of here. How did we miss that? It must have grown. Yeah, because see how it's like a little baby one? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So if Sun Tzu says the art of walls is to build one, we're going to do just that. Here it is. The mightiest of towers. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you was if you put a ballista here, look at its range, right? Now, if we put it on top of there, oh my gosh, it can almost reach the other side of the ocean, which I think is just awesome. All right, we got a merchant. No special items, but we can sell a decent amount of things. How's our gold? Pretty good, actually. Food could be better, though. And when it comes to buying, can we buy some pork? No, but we can buy some fish. So we'll buy all the fish you got. Get, let's make this smell like fish. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's learn how to send diplomats. Like, I wanna, you know what? The first thing we're gonna do is see if we can't insult the guy in the north. That way we can get him to wage war on us. All right, that should be good. Oh, and someone sent, oh, Queen Gusetti. No, we can't help you out. Yeah, see, we gotta, we gotta make her not happy with us. That way she'll want to invade us too. <laughs> the more they invade me, if we successfully defend it, the weaker they're gonna be. Another thing that we need is like ship killing devices. We need them. Buildings are degrading. There are no masons to repair them. But let's just get one of them, shall we? We'll put them sort of over far away from everybody else. We'll put you in like the industrial area. And now we're gonna complete the northern wall. There's not a lot to defend it. You know what we should do is build some stairs and then have archers up there that we can move around depending on where the Vikings are. I think that, oh God. Okay, it's just a baby. Ooh, a whale, a rare whale sighting. Oh, I love when that happens. Makes me wanna play Nantucket. I love that game. Anybody played Nantucket? Anybody? Anybody? All right, so our diplomacy, where's our, dip our diplomat? Oh god, okay, we're gonna drop you off here. Alright, diplomat, uh, how do I... What is this? Their range? Mutonia. Meowtonia. Right click to visit. Yeah, let's go over here. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberry. Don't make me taunt to a second time, King Scheidler. What shall we speak of? I want to say that you suck. How do I do that? I was just looking up at the sky. Am I just saying random things? He had bird wings, but no bird tail. Okay, this guy tried to... Oh my god, this guy's talking about how this man needs to be a bird. No, I don't want you to like it. What shall we speak of? Insult. How do I insult you? Oh no, I'm talking to him more. I have a request. No, I, d I want... Oh god, I'm pressing the wrong button. Well, that's stupid. I need, I need more options, I think. However... Oh man, I just realized. Diplomats can essentially just go wherever they want. This is a very, very decently designed town compared to what we've seen before and it's almost fully walled off. Holy crap. We're using espionage via diplomacy. Look, they still have wolves over here. <laughs> oh my. Oh God, and they still have wolves over here too, okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna fully scout out the enemy islands. Have we killed this stupid dragon yet? Dude, where is it? Oh, he's flying over here now. Better not burn my diplomats. Okay, so this area of town is like just wide open. Sort of like the frontier. Yeah, we'll send the ship over there to pick him up. Right at the edge. And you won't. Oh, never mind. We we don't want to get too close to the wolves. This guy's running a very dangerous kingdom. Dragon set in fire. Yeah, so he's got wooden walls around his kingdom. I'm curious what. Queen Poro does, or whatever her name was, whatever your name is. Problem is, there's no real way to get up on those walls, you know what I mean? Maybe from within the fortress. That's what we need to do. Castle stairs. You know, we'll put them there. Four non-boys en route. 
Mine will be too. Yeah, so I guess other than like declaring war right now, the diplomacy options may be a little bit limited. This dragon has not been killed, man. If it gets near dragon killing tower though, we can kill the dragon with our dragon killing tower. <laughs> That's how it works. All right, let's scout out this island. All right, we will first travel north, cross the lands. Oh, there's their castle. They're also using a lot of wooden palisade. I guess for the most part, the Vikings aren't really doing a whole lot of like catapults or siege equipment, you know, so maybe that's a good idea. Oh, fire. Oh, geez. Oh my. And diplomat. Oh, I don't want you to be happy. Uh, not interested. Leave me be. I mean, it's not like you had a present, right? <laughs> We no longer need it. We're almost not going to need this one. The northern wall looks juicy. Looks very juicy, lads. All right, what's going on over here? Let's go scout out this giant farming complex they have. Holy biscuits. <laughs> they have this path, but it's blocked by like a wood carver. <laughs> the AI is really funny. You can tell how it's definitely improving compared to the last uh, series we did on this with AI empires to where we are now. So like improvements definitely happening, but there's still like some issues, you know, there's like wolves legit in the middle of town. Are they eating people? They got to at least eat people. That's not fair if they don't. Oh my God, this town, dude, how many people? So they've got what? 959. They're, uh, they're estimating. You can definitely say Mikey's world's a thousand. This one is 600, uh, let's say 700 people. And then mine is 459. I'm definitely slower compared to the AI. So that's kind of sad, you know? We are, wow, we need more wheat bread. Wheat bread, bread, get your old bread. Maybe some more bakers. So after the Northern wall, we should work on the Western one or build up like a fort to protect this port area. Cause this would be where there's no real walls. I think the Western wall should be wooden. That would be cool. Yeah, look, we could, in theory, get a note, write it, put it in a ballista bolt, and fire it, and just hit their area be like, Hey! Hey, check your emails, you idiot! I guess it would be probably more practical to have messenger pigeons, don't you think? Wow, our food is only plus 14, so we've got to do something about that. And the issue is bread. Dude, the treasure fleet. You think this uh, kingdoms and castles, but pirates? Sort of like old colonial like Caribbean kind of feel. A little bit of mountain blade going on. Here's the wooden western gate. The w western wood wall. Let's buy food. Ooh, we can buy pork. That should get us pretty stocked up on food over here. So how are we sitting? We've definitely started expanding the wall. We're starting our massive, massive buildings going on over here. Because we just have so much resources. This is going to be fun because it's going to open up another bit of stone over here. You think the queen could curse us? I'm kind of curious. If she could. At some point, we're going to have to do it. I I'm just a little bit too scared to do it right now. Now, food, though. Do we need more food? I mean, we're always going to need more food. Fruit could go up. We're going to need more fruit trees. Finding the area for that's kind of tricky. Guess we could use this arable farmland or over here once we complete the walls. All right. Building big walls. Wait, someone grew a tree there. Now, I, I, I don't want to like totally deforest the island either. Oh God. Oh man, we, we didn't get it in time for the uh, Viking invasion. We have a message from your ruler. Yes, go on. Oh, gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. How do I get you to hate me and send me gifts of death? Just so I can learn to defend it. What's this? What's this yellow exclamation mark over here? That's very strange. Is that a, is that a bug or a feature? But we should be much better defended against Viking invasions now that we have the long wall and we're working on the western wall. Oh, who's this? Who's this guy? Who's that guy? That's not me, is it? There's, there's something weird going on over here. Oh, we have a message. Boo! Fine, what is it? Nope, ain't gonna help you. Yeah, good. See, whenever you deny their stuff, now they don't like that. I, I think that's appropriate diplomacy. Because <laughs> before I'd say no and then be like, oh, okay, no big deal. We're, we're, we'll come later with a gift. You know, just, uh, we really just want you to like us. Oh, 
The Vikings landed right on the southern fortress. That was not smart, to say the least. Do we have Vikings attacking via the north? Huh? Look at this, man. We're doing good. This was the thing that many people asked for, was a giant wall to surround the entirety of the island. And for the most part, we're making it... Well, it's a mix of wood and stone. There's no real rhyme or reason. Oh my gosh. Vikings are just destroying. Yeah, so like, say you want to invade these people. If diplomatically you could pay a large sum of gold to the Vikings to do that, to invade, and then you invaded right after that, well, A, brilliant strategy, but B, a lot of depth to the diplomacy system, I feel like. We're gonna sell, make some money, and we want to buy fish. So we're just out of fish. We do have a fair amount of pork, though. Ooh. And we're very close to filling up the treasury. Which fortress has gonna hold the treasuries? Was it this one? Huh. I guess we don't have a fortress to hold the treasury yet. And we definitely want that. Yeah, oh, I guess we could try to wall this off. Treasuries, treasuries. That way it's protected from Vikings. We need to create like a Fort Knox area. This area could be used as a treasury storage. All right. Keep a lot of unemployed people so they can be construction workers. I think over here we'll build a fort. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this will be a cool little fort. And it can gain access to the outside if we wanted it to. Oh, it's the big dragon. Oh, God. Okay. And we only have a ballista way over here. Uh... I mean, we knew this day would come. Smog has decided to visit our fair kingdom. Don't burn the aqueduct. Oh, he looks like he's honed in on some people carrying stone right now. Where are you going, Smoggy McSmog face? Whoo, he left. Okay, good. That is dangerous. That is dangerous when the giant, like the biggest threat in the game right now is a giant dragon. They can do massive amounts of damage. Oh, he's back. He's back. Don't burn the Noria. That is such an expensive thing. Like, look at... Oh, he's burning it. Okay. So the Noria... Ah. Oh. oh, he burned the farms. Please don't burn the Noria. It's technically a technological wonder of our world right now. Oh, yeah. That guy's like, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, we need... We probably need, like, more dragon killing devices poten uh, potentially. There's, like, n nobody over here to put these fires out. Rebuild them. We will redouble our efforts. I hope so, Commander, for your sake. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. Dude, what if we had to, like, serve the Galactic Emperor in this game? And there was portals to another world. Okay, here we want this to just store nothing but stone and wood. These are going to be frontier outposts. I'm, I'm leaving them here so I could put uh, stonemasons here if we wanted to. Oh, the merchant has arrived. Please have some fancy stuff. I want to buy, like, the upgraded ballista to kill the dragon. I want to kill a dragon. What do we need? Food? We're doing pretty good. We could buy some tools. Oh, he's back. Dude, I want to see a dragon burn a ship. That would be the coolest thing. We have a message from our ruler. Fine, what is it? Uh, not at this time. You're a big ninny. We don't like you. What if they burn the diplomats? I want to see that kind of stuff. Arrows don't do a lot of damage to a dragon. I think we only have maybe one or two ballistas on the entire island. He's like, I know where you live. I'm coming back. But we have done a pretty good job fortifying the island. We've only got one side left to do. So if you guys do want to see more kingdoms and castles, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.